Head football coach Wayne Dabbs after a 42 to 26 victory over Athens Christian. All right, coach, uh, sum this one up for us. It's great to win a football game. Um, kids grew up tonight. I had a lot of guys uh, step up. Um, we knew coming in, not having Andrew full strength, somebody was gonna have to step up. It's like God knew. Colton Musser hadn't been with us the last couple of weeks with a shoulder injury. He came in, did a, just a phenomenal job. Um, we stayed the course. We Sincere was back this week, so we got him some touches early, got him going. Um, you know, we didn't play great up front, um, but a lot of, I mean, that, they're a good football team. So a lot of the things that we struggled with was because they were doing a really good job. So hats off, Athens Christian. Um, but we'll take the victory. Special teams did a phenomenal job. Defense got a couple of turnovers there. So uh, we're fortunate to get the victory, but um, the guys played well tonight. What does it say about your quarterback, Blake Keitel, who found four different people to throw a touchdown pass to? How about that? I didn't realize he had thrown four. Blake is, uh, he's, I've been with him uh, since he was a little guy, and uh, I ride him pretty hard, and he's, got, he's a tough kid, tough mentally. Um, there's not a lot of things that you can throw at him that he's, he's gonna get rattled. Um, he just responds well. Um, he, he makes a, a mistake, he usually just bounces right back. Great leader for our football team. Um, the mistakes he made as soon as he came back, he knew what they were. Um, it's easy to correct those things on the sideline, so uh, we're fortunate to have a young man like Blake, not just leading, leading, throwing touchdowns, like that's fun, everybody in the crowd sees that. Like Blake's a hard practicer. Um, he's a great leader in, in our hallways and classrooms, so we're fortunate to have a young man like him leading the, leading the charge for us. I want to give a shout out to Austin Taylor tonight, in on a lot of tackles. He made some plays happen for us. Austin is our quarterback on defense. He gets our kids lined up. We saw it last year, you know, as a sophomore. Um, we knew that we, we had him coming back, but he, he hasn't missed a beat. He's physical. Um, he knows our system, kind of like Blake knows our offense. Austin knows our defense. He knows where people are supposed to get lined up. He makes tackles. He makes plays. Um, he's on a lot of our special teams. Like, he's just a go-getter. We're fortunate to have a young man like Austin also. So now we're two and two. We go into next week at George Walton, tough place to play. And then we're back here two weeks from today against Loganville Christian. Uh, two and two sounds a lot better than one and three going into next week, doesn't it? It does. And honestly, uh, the record, I don't really care. You know, it's fortunate to get the wins. I don't really care about the record. We need to be peaking when, when we're playing in, in the region play. Like our goal is to be as, as good as this team can be and, and carrying that through our region play. So that's why we're sitting some guys, we're moving some parts around. Sometimes it looks, you know, a little um, unorthodox, but the, the bottom line is we're just trying to create some depth, trying to get some guys that are comfortable playing around each other. Um, George, Wal George Walton's a tough place to play. Loganville here for homecoming in a couple of weeks will be tough. But bottom line is we're just trying to get better these next couple of weeks. So when Hebron comes to town, you know, we got Providence and HI and Wesleyan. That, that's that's our region play, and that's what matters for the playoffs. And unfortunately, that's that's kind of our goal right now. Not not really worried about our records. Well, enjoy it though. Congrats on the win. Thank you.